My name is Bemi Okinola. I am the creative director of Alan Nico, and this is the Freedom Collection. This collection is all about freedom, freedom redefined. When COVID-19 hit and the country went into lockdown, freedom as we knew it had literally been snatched from us. Whilst it was definitely a strange adjustment to begin with, I quickly came to the realisation that all the things that to me defined freedom really wasn't freedom at all. I realised that freedom was less of what I allowed anyone to give to me and more of what I gave to myself. Less of how I would allow the speed of life to generate substanceless conclusions to matters that required deeper attention and more of me exercising patience and permitting my mind to render answers beyond a Google result. Freedom to me is Christ, family, love, unified vision, diverse vision, it can't be valued in any currency, but it's one of the most valuable things that anyone can have. When I first started designing the collection, I was focusing more on the feeling of freedom. But as the years started to unfold and all the madness was happening, it was more the contrast between that feeling of freedom versus the fight for freedom. I mean, a lot happened last year. There was the brutal killing of George Floyd, which sparked the anti-racism movement around the world. Covid in itself was already enough, to be honest. Then there was the Lecky Tollgate massacre in Lagos towards the end of the year. And I just felt like there was a lot of pain literally piercing through every nation, every city, every country. And at the root of every situation, the one thing everybody wants is just to be free. You don't have hundreds and thousands of people protesting at a toll gate, risking their lives just for fun. They were literally fighting for freedom. George Floyd saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. He just wanted to be free, he just wanted to live. So I'm just thinking about all these different events happening all at the same time. Then I had a thought. I started thinking about birds and butterflies and how they migrate from country to country, literally because they too want freedom. Birds and butterflies spend their lives flying, looking for food and shelter, literally. Even though we look at them and we think, oh, pretty butterfly, pretty bird. The reality is they're flying to find food flying to find their next place to stay. It made me think about my parents and many other parents who have migrated to, you know, find a better life or for themselves or for their family. And, you know, they migrate from their home country to a foreign country and end up fighting for freedom all over again. Except the battle this time is a little different. And basically, I came to the realization that no matter which way you look at it or how far you search, true freedom isn't something that this world can give you. I know it's all a little bit deep for a collection, wedding dresses, just make pretty dresses, just make sparkly dresses. But that's the thing I love about art. You have the power to take anything, literally anything, no matter how hard, painful or crazy it may be and turn it into something beautiful. So what we did with this collection and the looks and all the dresses is channel the textures and patterns from the different perspectives of freedom from natural bird feathers to embroidery designs inspired by Nigerian cultural prints. We mimicked the veins on the butterfly's wing and translated that onto the body of the dress, incorporated lots of flowers, specifically the freesia and noreen flowers, as they symbolize freedom. There are a lot of different links in this collection, which from the onset don't necessarily correlate with one another, but they all have that one thing in common, and that's the desire to be free.